welcome to Project Rainbow from beautiful Malibu Beach! We know our hard-working contestants deserve a day to bask in the sun. <sighs> <sighs> but sun time doesn't necessarily mean fun time. It's a new day, which means a new challenge. Oh, of course yeah. it does. And to guide us to your next challenge, the creative energy behind all things Project Rainbow, Maria, Maria Garcia. Garcia! Hello, all. I can't wait to see how this new environment will spark new creativity in you. And to decide today's challenge... The return of our color wheel! Shipped all the way here from Shadow High. <laughs> how fitting! For this week's challenge, each team will create a piece inspired by where you are. The ocean! You will be working outside under the beautiful blue Malibu sky. Walking outside? What if our materials get wet? Or sandy? Each team will choose an object that invokes the ocean to inspire their garment. And you will, of course, be using the official Project Rainbow sewing machine. Oh. They're extra sparkly in the sun. And this week's team leaders are from Shadow High, Monique. And from Rainbow High, Michelle. Monique and Michelle will pick their team's blue ocean inspiration. I'll be back later with a surprise guest judge. Got it, a starfish. It's dynamic, multidimensional, and glamorous. What is a starfish anyway? I'm pretty sure it's not a fish or a star. A sand dollar? Real right? It's <laughs> very flat and beige. And basic. I'm so glad I have immunity this week. Get it together, Shadow High. There's so much to be inspired by. I'm already buzzing with images of haute couture and dollar signs. Come on, Shadow High. We got this. Sand dollars are fetch. My mom brought me one back from her trip to Hawaii, and I always keep it in my room for good luck. I know we're all bummed we aren't here to relax, but let's get pumped for the amazing work we can do. Oh, I just don't see how this is going to inspire a trailblazing garment. Starfish are amazing. When I was little, my favorite part of snorkeling was finding a whole bunch of purple ones on a reef. Oh, yeah. When I was younger, I used to draw starfish all over my school notebooks. So cool how each of their arms has an eye. So they can, like, see people watching them from all angles? Useful. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I want to contribute, but I'm just tired and feeling so uninspired. Maybe I should throw in the beach towel and go home. It's looking incredible, team! A jumpsuit. Bold choice. We were inspired by the structured lines of the starfish's arms. But as it is right now, the suit looks a little off the rack. <gasps> Make sure it says high fashion runway, not work day at the beach. Totally. You heard her. We need runway wow. Victoria, you okay? I'm sorry. I'm just feeling creatively blocked. The creative life is full of challenges. When I'm feeling stuck, I find it best to step outside the box and try to see the challenge with new eyes. I'll try that. New eyes. Eyes! That's it! <laughs> Chanel, you reinforce the seam. The dress is missing something. Hmm. A little extra pizzazz. Oh, I've got it! A train! A train? Like a wedding dress? No! It'll be a long blue train. It would really show we're inspired by the week's theme. Hmm, it could work. I would suggest some hand-beaded embellishments, but I'm exhausted, and that's a lot of extra work. So if Rex wants to do the work, I say add whatever. Sewing needles down. Time's up. I promised you a fantastic guest. And so, please welcome Pacific Coast High Zone, Finn Rosado. 
I cannot wait to see what ocean-inspired garments you've created. May ruffles? Clever! Work wear with a runway flare. I feel sandy just looking at it. But like, uh, in a good way. <laughs> You created a versatile garment that works for both work and runway. Victoria, your golden pop really made a star of this starfish. So congratulations, Victoria, you are today's winner. Unfortunately, Shadow High's ocean-inspired train metaphorically fell off the tracks and literally fell off the dress. While Rex had the last-minute idea to add it, he has immunity this week. So we have to send someone else home. And that person is Carla. You agreed to an idea you didn't like simply because you were too tired to put in the extra effort on an idea that could have saved your look. Please grab your backpack because you're returning to class. I'm so sorry, Carla. It's all right. You tried Bye, your best. Carla. <laughs> Way to save the design, Victoria. I finally figured out how to see things from a new angle. <laughs> <laughs> well, it looks like the team's had a great day in Malibu. But now it's time to go back to the Project Rainbow Workshop. See you all next time on Project Rainbow! Welcome back from Malibu, Project Rainbow designers! Rex and Monique, please switch places with Avery and Victoria. It's another team mix-up challenge. Ooh, Avery! Yes. Please welcome back guest judge Lilac Lane! She'll now be switching gears to become a Project Rainbow model for the rest of the competition. And joining her are two other new models, Blue Brooks and Pink Lee Page. You have the choice between using them or any of the original three Project Rainbow models for all challenges to come. Twice as many to choose from, but choose wisely. Strategy is becoming more and more a part of the game. Your challenge this week is to create the perfect look inspired by the new song, Out of This World, by songwriter Delilah Fields, and to be worn on tour by Rainbow High's hottest new solo artist, Sabrina Sing Cloud. <laughs> Sabrina and I are as different as can be, but we're the perfect mix. Opposites attract, after all. Together, our song really is out of this world. Good luck, designers. Your time starts now. We could do astronaut chic. Oh, that could maybe work. Or cosmic goddess. Well, maybe. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> futuristic fashionista. We need the most out-of-this-world thing we can think of. Ooh, I know! Aliens! Yes, an in-vogue alien! A modern Martian. Hmm, that could be cool, but I'm not sure the song is literally about space. If you really take a look at the lyrics... Hey, what about this? Oh, oh I uh... like that. Ugh, we're getting nowhere with these ideas. What would best represent Delilah's song and give Sabrina the most confidence while performing? Okay, so the lyrics are talking about how being out of this world is all about stars colliding, burning bright, and gravity not holding you down. So the astronomy imagery is a metaphor? Yeah, and I think it's really about confidence being what makes you shine bright. Well, what shines brighter in the sky than the sun? And the moon. Oh, I've missed you so much. Someone say Sunny and Luna. I, I mean, the, the sun and the moon. I hope you're feeling confident in your designs because the stakes are super high this week. 
all but one designer from the losing team will be sent home. What? what? Along with one designer from the winning team. We didn't even know that five people are going back to class. Oh, that's so many friends we'll have to say goodbye to. Sometimes less is more. Maybe we should remove a piece or three of jewelry. Are you sure? You can't have enough sparkle and shine, right? Actually, I feel stellar now. Way less weighed down. And now the design can really speak for itself. Hmm. I know I'm an extraterrestrial and all, but this feels a little... <laughs> extra. I can barely move in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fashion is sacrifice. I think it's perfect. If our model doesn't feel confident in it, maybe we should reconsider. But what can we do at this point? Hmm. If she feels like she can't move, we can add a slit to the skirt so she can walk more easily. Do we even have time for that? Hand me my seam ripper. Needles down. It's runway time. If you get nervous out there, just remember what Delilah and Sabrina's song says and spin around and shine. You know you're one of a kind. And we're really lucky to have you as our model. Thanks, Skylar. <laughs> We can be whatever you want, girl. Make the rules up as we go, girl. Step into our power, a moment of golden hour, possibilities out of this world, girl. Take a look in the mirror, girl. You rock everything you wear, girl. I just wanna shine, there's something I wanna hide, it's a feeling I can't deny. Every time the stars collide, I feel so electrified. Step into our power, a moment of golden hour, possibilities out of this world. I, for one, am so touched that my song helped inspire such beautiful fashion today. I can't wait to wear one of these otherworldly looks on every stop of my tour. Yes, but which one will it be? Team One! The way you use the sun and the moon as opposites that both shine bright in their own ways uh, is such a great representation of our singer-slash-songwriter duo! Team Two, you were able to take a high concept and make it high fashion without it feeling like a costume. I have a question, though. Sabrina, can you see yourself wearing these while performing? Well, I have to admit, I don't think I'd be able to perform my best while wearing something that covers all my features rather than featuring them. Plus, it seems like a lot of time in the makeup chair on every stop of my tour. Unfortunately, Team Two, you missed the mark. So that means the winning design belongs to Team One. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I never done that. Right. And for her work finding inspiration from the song's lyrics, this week's winner is Ainsley. Way to go, Ains. Team One, you still need to vote one designer out. And Team Two, you need to vote for one person to stay. I never thought all but one of us would be leaving. I know who I have to vote for. The votes are in. The person Team One has voted out is such a talented designer, but unfortunately she wasn't able to push past her hesitancy this week and it slowed down her team. I'm sorry, Victoria, but you're heading back to class. Mm -hmm. The designer staying from Team Two is a problem solver who helped pull their team to the finish line. They boosted up the entire team, including their model. Congrats, Skylar! <laughs> I can't believe my team believed in me enough to vote for me to stay. Maybe I actually have a shot at winning this? Your teammates have spoken. Victoria, Michelle, Rex, Monique, and Olivia, pack your backpacks. You're all going back to class. Get ready, because next week is... The semi-finals! 